This is your Association Chat News Flash Briefing for Friday, January 11th, 2019. We've made it. Your favorite briefing on new ideas, events, and tech you need to know about in the association industry. I'm Kiki Latalian. So TGIF, we've made it to the end of the first week for Association Chat's Flash Briefing going daily on the weekdays. Amazing. Used to be weekly. Now it's daily. What do you think? I want to know what you think. I think it's amazing, but I don't know what you think. If you can, please take a minute today to send me a message on social media or through email. Um, I'll give those to you in a little bit. If you have a chance, let me know if you like what I'm doing here with association chat flash briefings. These are daily. They take a little bit of time, but not too much. But I, I want to know if you're getting value out of it. If you're actually listening, even if you're not getting value, I just want to know if, if somebody out there is even paying attention to any of this. You can even just say hi. I'm curious to know who's actually listening to these flash briefings out there. I see the stats. Um, apparently you are, but I just don't know what the situation is. So give me an update. Let me know if you like the daily flash briefings. I think that they're probably a better idea, but I want to know what you think. There's an interesting article in this week's ad week about subscription services. Their popularity continues to rise. I myself have, uh, been a happy, customer of subscription services for years now. Uh, Blue Apron, HelloFresh, uh, Stitch Fix, you know, I've, I've subscribed to different types of beauty boxes over the years, Mentor Box to like get their, their business books and stuff like that. Um, there's even online courses you can take about how to spin up your own subscription box service. So my question is this, how can associations benefit from offering a, subscri a subscription service? You look at associations, they have membership, we have um, all types of like learning, networking, you have this ongoing, you've got your conferences, some for scientific societies and professional societies. There's a lot, oftentimes peer reviewed journals. There's all these different aspects. So I can see where a subscription service would be pretty interesting. It could be a lot of fun. I mean, think about your chapters. I remember getting chapter boxes out the door once a year, and it was such a huge deal. But with drop shipping options and all kinds of stuff like that, it's totally possible to do this and do this really well in a super cool way. So who's doing it out there right now? What associations are doing it out there? currently? How's it working or not working? And if you have, if you're part of an association and you haven't created this, what would it look like if you did? Who would you send it out to? What would they receive? How often would it go out? And would there be some sort of online community supporting and talking about the boxes that they got every, every month or every year, or every week? I, I don't know, but you know, I'm thinking about what I've seen that works. And what do you think? Is it possible to make membership more appealing if it's part of a subscription service? I am curious about what you would say to that. I will have my blog post up later today over on AmplifyGrowth.net daily blog. I will also be posting a little bit about it on AssociationChat.com. But what do you think? If you're going to be in D.C. next Thursday, come and join me and Adele Sears. We're going to be hosting a really awesome event in D.C. You can check out more about it on associationchat.com. Tweet me at Kiki Letalien or email me kiki at amplifygrowth.net and let me know. Let me know what you think about these daily briefings. That's it for today's flash briefing from Association Chat. Thanks for listening and check back tomorrow for association news you need. Learn more at associationchat.com.